here in the middle of uh, Clark Hacking Village. What, just talk to me, what's happening? Sure, so I got involved with car hacking about three or four years ago here at DEF CON. Um, it's not my primary job. Um, I have learned all of it kind of self-taught and like through awesome people through the village. I have a $300 laptop, a dongle that I bought at Rite Aid at four o'clock in the morning, so that was ended up being $45 and one Cat5 cable. So you're, you're rolling with just three main pieces here that anyone could just buy. Installed Kali on, on, onto this computer. And right now I actually pulled up Wireshark. I hadn't used Wireshark since 2007 when everything went to HTTPS. Going old school. <laughs> yeah, got it. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to do basically a packet capture of the car. It's a giant web app. So we're gonna get started. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. ready. Let's, let's, go. Right. let's go. So let's go ahead and take it and go to ETH0. All right. We got our lovely packets that we're used to seeing from like 2007. Now I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna put the car in party mode. That way I can get a bunch of traffic generated so that I have something to look at. And you have to guess what song is playing. Star Wars. Get in here, you know music. Back to the future. Out. We're in the middle of an interview. Hey, out. Uh, 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 shame on you. Shame. If you look around right now, all the lights are going off. The trunks are the trunks opening. So it's sent, all this is being captured traffic. So now I can go back to that PCAP file and actually start looking at what's controlling all the functions of the car. Okay. So it's it's a really neat and basic way to start learning how how a Tesla works as far as it being a web application. And it's all over HTTP. Insane. Well, does that leave like a major vulnerability? So way, supposedly or? that only happens in the party mode. Okay. That it shouldn't happen to like the actual driving controls, the throttle controls, but we're kind of hoping to see if somebody can figure that out over the weekend. Just this week, somebody released how to actually jailbreak a t Tesla and get all the features. Wow. I mean, if we're talking bad, like how bad could that get? Could that be something like the accelerator brakes, or brakes? accelerator? Like that's, and again, that's like why party mode's kind of fun is we can capture all that traffic quickly. It doesn't do anything with the brakes, but it at least lets us start understanding how it communicates. And what's so fun about like having the community here is like, hey, let's play with this. Yeah, there's way smarter people. And it's like, but it's fun to just all get down and like start thinking through everybody looking at it in a different light, which makes it so much fun of like, I didn't think of that. Uh, last year when we figured out it was party mode, it was like me half drunk going, put it in party mode, that'll give it a lot of traffic. And everybody's like, oh, you told us one of the flags. I'm like, I didn't fucking know. <laughs> you know, some of the best and realizations happen when people are half drunk. Yeah. I, I mean, really. <laughs> we met that way. Yeah, exactly. We, exactly. <laughs> so, there we go. Now, should we take a look at this next part with Raj here and yeah. see this other half of what you've been working on today? So, hey guys, what we'll be doing right here is messing with the RDS, the radio data system. So, most FM stations to this day, we still use this. So, it's uh, essentially whenever you tune into any frequency, your car can tell you what radio station you're tuned into and any sort of radio text. So over here we have GNU Radio, which is an open source and free tool. And we are running this through a HackRF, which uh, is an SDR. They used to be really expensive and now you can get them for under $200. Uh, but then as of GNU Radio, you can simulate this entire environment and learn how to use this on your computer. All you need is maybe uh, Windows, uh, I mean an Ubuntu machine and with GNU Radio and you'll be able to do this. So what we're doing right here is we're broadcasting text um, through this, through the HackRF at 88.7 megahertz. And if we go over to the car and tune into that frequency, you're gonna be able to see the text. If you start fuzzing it, it can cause certain infotainment systems to crash. And like with a Tesla, it's essentially a computer on wheels. So what would happen if that crashes? Does that crash the entire car? Does it just stop or what happens? Some other Japanese OEMs uh, of simple percent symbol can crash the entire infotainment system. So we can... While running, while the car's running. While running. Let's, let's hop in. And then. All right. The radio text over here is Car Hacking Village 2023. So what you can then do is you can start fuzzing this and RDS has uh, certain features where you can uh, set it to be an alarm and or an emergency. So all cars around are automatically programmed to tune into that frequency. 
and you can mess with a lot of people if you wanted to. Anything from I think 76 to about 90-ish megahertz is the same as FM radio. Got it. Could you also, other than text being a notifications, could you put, say, like a video file that would pop up on the screen or so, like a GIF or anything like that? Could that be transmitted or? Most certainly not with RDS, but yes. there is DAB, uh, di Digital Audio Broadcast. So you can put images on there. And what you can also do with images is that you can cause buffer overflows and other attacks that can again crash it. Or the NCC group uh, did some research with DAB where they were able to inject CAN frames into the car, essentially controlling the car. With an amplifier, you can maybe do an entire city or even more. You could do, so you could do them all multiple at the same time? Multiple. Oh my god. OK. That's, that's amazing. That's, give me a lot of ideas here, but you know. And then hopefully, you know, the rest of the crowd out here, you know, you know be safe about what you're doing and, and you know, make, make smart decisions.